My name is Mandi Sinombembe. I am project manager at Saika. Kulisa e business is a resemblance of what you are seeing at uh, the background here, where we are focused on making sure that we are producing SMMEs that are going to be able to access funding to actually scale and grow their businesses. Hence the word Kulisa means grow. So Kulisa e business was funded by JP Morgan Bank and is anchored by Saika's enterprise development arm, Saika ED. The whole purpose is to make sure that we are building or assisting SMMEs that are going to be in a position to actually access funding. So what that entails is we have partnered with our chartered accountancy constituency which have experience around financial management, accounting, internal controls and also raising funding. We are targeting youth businesses. Anyone between the age of 18 to 35 will be eligible. There must be black owned businesses, meaning minimum 51% black ownership. And they need to be or to have been operating for at least a year. So they must have a track record of actually operating. My name is Lerato Ntluyakha Bosidiadia. I'm um, part of the Kulisa e-business project um, and I am very excited to be standing in Soweto right now uh, on behalf of the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants Enterprise Development. We are looking for over 200 small, micro and medium enterprises, SMMEs, and I'm here to encourage you to apply for the Kulisa e-business funding accelerator program. You've got until the 10th of August to apply, and I think you would want to apply because SICA, which stands for the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, Enterprise Development, is looking for you. If you are based in Soweto, if you are based in Tembisa, or if you are based in Katloras, apply today and you won't regret it. I am the founder of Hasmonomics. Hasmonomics is a for-profit, impact-driven social enterprise that focuses on upskilling and creating employment for women and youth. We target low-income households who have informal backyard shacks and we give them the opportunity to own these former structures. They manufacture interlocking bricks, which are made from local soil and sometimes from recycled construction waste. The bricks are 30% less to build and they are three times faster to build. We use about 10% cement to make the bricks and when you're building because they are a face brick texture that also cuts your building costs because we don't have to plaster the bricks. <laughs> 